Hi, and welcome to our video series, Spartan Stories, Tales from UNC Greensboro's University Archives. We're going to introduce you to some people, events, and other stories from UNCG's history. Stories you might not know or that you might have forgotten. Today, we're going to explore athletics and sports at State Normal. While competitive athletics are a major part of campus life at UNCG today, early students had to fight for their right to play ball. From its opening in 1892, the State Normal, now UNCG, emphasized physical activity and personal health. A course in physical culture was required of all students. The work included gymnastics, calisthenics, and other exercises that were meant to promote the student's general health and strength. A small gymnasium was built in the top floor of the main building, now Faust. Students, however, wanted opportunities for athletic team competition, not just physical activity. The graduating class of 1900 convinced school president Charles Duncan McKeever of the need for a campus athletic association and purpose-built athletic grounds. The campus athletic association was formally established in 1900. By 1902, it had adopted the motto, athletics and active college work go hand in hand. In a space that is now the site of the Petty Building, the women of the Athletic Association cleared and prepared playing grounds, marked the fields, and installed nets on four tennis courts as well as basketball goals. For the most part, however, team sports were limited to on-campus competition between the classes in an effort to focus the students more on the importance of activity and less on competition. As one student noted, quote, we were taught very strongly the evils that would come from interscholastic sports. The emphasis on winning at any cost was the worst. Basketball proved to be an especially popular sport with the students. Rules for women's basketball were first introduced in 1892 at Smith College. These rules were modified specifically for the women's game, as it was feared that women could not physically or mentally handle the strain of the men's rules. The court was divided into three areas, and three players from each team were allowed in an area at a time, with nine players total on the court at a time per team. The ball was moved from section to section by passing or dribbling. Players were limited to only three dribbles and could hold the ball for three seconds at a time. No snatching or batting the ball away from a player was allowed. At State Normal, the Student-Led Athletic Association coordinated most sports events on campus. By 1914, the group offered events in basketball, tennis, field hockey, baseball, cricket, golf, camping, and gymnastics. They also sponsored May Day, Field Day, and various sports tournaments throughout the year. Through their dedication and persistence, the women of the Athletic Association ensured that athletics would be a strong component of their college life. I hope you enjoyed this Spartan story. You can find lots more on our Spartan Stories blog at uncghistory.blogspot.com. Dot com.